That's the hint? Yeah. No, I want I want the present. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we're here with two international students, Saina College di Milano. So please tell us something about yourself. My name is Ignacio, I am 23 years old. I come from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I study management engineering at Politecnico di Milano. Um, my name is Mili, I'm from Argentina too, from Buenos Aires. I'm 22 years old. I study finance and accounting and I'm doing an exchange at Bocconi University. Um, hello, I'm Marina. I'm from Madrid. I'm 21 and I'm studying art history and antiquity sciences. And I'm Maria. I'm from a region called Asturias and the city is called Gijón. And I'm here to do the, um, like my bachelor's in arts. So, we'll ask you to come here today to interview you. But there's a twist. <laughs> it's not going to be an interview, it's going to be a quiz about Italian traditions during Christmas time. Do you think you can handle it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> okay, so before proceeding, I'm going to hand over the letters we through which you're going to reply to the questions. The rules are very simple. You get a point for each question you answer correctly. And at the end, who gets the most points obviously gets a present, a prize. <laughs> this is the prize that one of you is going to be lucky enough to win. So, let's move to the first question. One of the symbols of Christmas has its origins in Italy. Do you know which one? A. Nativity scene B. Christmas cards C. Christmas tree and D. Poinsettia In Italian it would be Stella Natale. It's a plan. Okay. Oh, correct! Um, I'm sorry. No, but these are correct. <laughs> it was this one. It was the first one, the nativity scene. Is it common in Spain to have a nativity scene set for Christmas time? Definitely. We always make it at, during Christmas at home. We always have one. Oh, that's so. great. The next one is about an icon of Christmas time, Santa Claus. He comes from the historical figure of Saint Nicholas. Which Italian city is associated with Saint Nicholas? A. Palermo B. Pisa C. Bari D. Verona Okay! And Marina's correct. It's Bari. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, he's the patron saint of the city of Bari. I've never been to Bari. I should go. Sometime. Yeah? That's a good way to... So we have friends <laughs> at college from Bari. We could go visit them sometime. Yes, exactly. Okay, let's, let's move on to the third question. Now, Santa Claus is not the only one who brings gifts to children. In fact, according to the tradition of some Italian cities, there is another figure who does this. Who is it? A. Virgin Mary B. Santa Lucia C. San Gennaro D. Remagi Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Santa Lucia. <laughs> I'm sorry, we did it on purpose. <laughs> but Spain. why did you choose the, the letter T? Because in Spain, it's Remagi who brings. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> right. And it's like a big, big thing, and with that, children then go to bed like really nervous about the upcoming. Oh, day. that's so great. Nice. So there's still some opportunities for you to get the score right. <laughs> Another folkloristic figure of Italian traditions uh, linked to Christmas festivities is La Befana. Do you know who she is? Like, uh, the figure of it, the icon? It's a witch. Yeah, exactly. It's an old, very old woman, like sort of a witch. 
So a very old woman that flies on, on a broom and basically brings to the obedient children sweets. But who do you think she brings to the children who poorly behaved throughout the year? A. Charcoal B. Rocks C. Chickpeas D. Pine cones <laughs> yeah, that's, that's correct. Congratulations. So, do you have anything like this inside? Like, uh, it's exactly like the yeah, chocolate? Exactly really? Yes. I went with the bias, but it's exactly the same. <laughs> really? So, let's move on to question number five. Maria, you're falling behind. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, one of the most popular Christmas traditions all over the world, including Italy, is kissing under a specific plant, the mistletoe. Now, how do you say that in Italian? A. Baciarsi sotto il guicine B. Baciarsi sotto il sedano C. Baciarsi sotto il vischio D. Baciarsi sotto il cavolo Yeah, it's a good one. Ah, mi hai copiato! <laughs> you got it. Nice! Right. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask you Okay, so, next question. This is a, a difficult one. So, around Christmas time in Italy, you may meet the Zampognari in the streets. But who are they? A. Dancers. B. A choir. C. Jugglers. D. Musicians. Who do you think they are? I mean to say this. It's musicians. Marina is correct. Hi, <laughs> Gassi. <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, it comes from uh, this instrument. It's called zampogna, uh, which is sort of like like bagpipe in English, and they would play like Christmas songs, traditional Christmas songs, like walking in the streets. So, last question. But this question um, is going to grant you four points. No, 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 no. <laughs> if, no, but you will have to uh, write the name of these Italian dishes on the back of each card. Um, obviously, I'll give you the names. You just have to <laughs> associate each name to the right picture. Okay. So, be ready. Okay, can start. Does it have to be well spelled? No, yes. it just has to be. Yeah, don't worry at all. Can I read So, now show me what you chose for Canadian. You got it correct. <laughs> Maria, you're correct. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> then we have uh, panettone. Which one did you choose for panettone? And that's correct. No, no. it's hey, this that. one. <laughs> I bought it last night, last week. And what about pandoro? Which one is that? Okay, that's correct. <laughs> I knew they were like one was panettone and yeah, one was exactly. I always mistake them. <laughs> I've been using it in this thing, you know, for one thing and for my life. So which one do you prefer? This one. No, this one. That's great. Well, um, so moving to the last one, Struffoli. And that's correct. Okay. Yeah, these are Struffoli, unfortunately, <laughs> but connected later, you know. At this point, the winner is Milagro. <laughs> Thank you. I'm <laughs> For the shape, I may have an idea of what is it. Oh. Ah, panettone. Pa panettoncino classico. Ah, this is your prize. So you'll Thank have you. um, like the chance to eat a panettone during Christmas time in Italy. So I would like to thank you so much for being with us today. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
pensavo che era tipo una parolaccia a cavolo. No, no. no. Per quello l'ho detto, no, no, questa non è. <ride>